Thank you, Mr. Chris Hong. Just like what Chairman Peng has said, AI should be everywhere. It should be able to use in all sorts of scenarios and contexts. But when you do use it, you would always find that there is something missing. So in our experiences of promoting AI applications, there are two lessons learned. First of all, data is important. You need to have a huge amount of data. These data may include data from IoT systems, from different big data clouds, or from other open data platforms or sources. So when we introduce AI applications, the first step would always be building up that data platform. With that platform of data, we then will be able to allow AI to analyze these data and to be trained. A lot of AI applications are interdisciplinary in nature. It usually involves many different disciplines working together. So we need experts and resources from different disciplines to come together to enable useful AI application. Mr. Chris Hong has mentioned about AI agents. AI agents are able to autonomously generate a lot of things, including codes. But I think these tools are already very useful for people who have specialties or knowledge in these areas. But for layman users, it's still challenging to use these tools. So on our side, we want to create a no-code tool for users. And uh, they will be specific by domain. And this type of uh, tool or software can enable people from different industries to create, to realize their innovation. They can uh, use uh, thoroughly the data that we I just mentioned. So to truly implement AI, I think these are the two key factors. As regard to smart city, as Chairman Lee said, I think the most important thing for the government is to create an enabling system and a system that deliver uh, innovation that you can feel. So that means EUI. The design of EUI and uh, a lot of uh, upgrade and efficiency and safety, uh, safety in the back end. So I think uh, AI will show us a multi-pronged growth. Anything you can imagine will be realized. The AI industry requires good talents to grow. We've talked about the importance of computing power and application. But of course, talent is uh, just as important. The development of AI reminded me of uh, the 1970s when I just entered the business. That is when Intel invented its microprocessor. It was also a groundbreaking uh, product. Uh, you, our audience is perhaps too young to, uh, to know uh, this product. But when a uh, microprocessor was launched, a key problem then was that no one knew how to use it. 
it was in later years that people realized microprocessors can be used in so many different products and area. Therefore, to promote the, the use of microprocessor, my tech establish a microcomputer program to uh, advocate the use of microprocessor. Today, we are moving into the era of AI. Personally, I also think this is a groundbreaking solution. AI can be used everywhere. Therefore, when it comes to talent cultivation, AI can be an important tool. But uh, talent for AI is perhaps a bit different. In the past, like for microprocessor, you require very professional uh, talent. But AI it can be used across different disciplines. So the talent we need may uh, may not require very professional knowledge regarding AI. Instead, what we need is people who can innovate. So we need to approach talent cultivation a bit differently. I think that's a very important topic when it comes to education. Recent, uh, recently, inside my company, we've been planning programs that offer uh, AI lab to high school students. We want to educate high school students to become more innovative so that they can uh, shine in all industries.